Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love, as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love, as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome Breaking Bread family, this is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to look at the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and we're going to look at line 11. The translation that I'm reading says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. If we're not lifting each other up in praise, we are either letting people fall or we're pushing them down. It doesn't matter what someone else does or says, do not lower yourself to their level and standards, but rise higher beyond their reach and declare to God your commitment to serve respectfully as his ambassador. And then do exactly that. When you rise above situations, you can easily remove yourself and walk away with dignity and grace, leaving even your adversary standing with their dignity unharmed by you. We must consistently and passionately praise our loved ones so that even when times get tough and they are drowning in doubt, your praise can be the life raft that helps to save them and see Jesus' strong hand. We gain nothing by complaining that our loved ones are causing us emotional strain, for Jesus never gave up on his family or his disciples, even when he knew one would betray him and more than one would deny being his follower. Remember with family, friends, and or foes, It's not about them, but it's all about you and how you speak, think, and behave. Let's rise up and be the ambassadors we are called to be. Share your testimony of rising above negativity or fear by posting a comment to this message. Will you join me in a moment of prayer? Great. Father, I pray that as you are molding me, that you continue to mold my thoughts and speech. Stop me before I speak evil or do harm. Warm my heart and fill it to the brim so that I'm always looking for solutions, not overwhelmed by problems, where I'm focused on lifting others up despite their behavior. Let me always share the love Jesus shared. Even when he was putting people in their place, he did so with love. Let me handle every situation with grace, remove myself from drama, Rebuke the lies and ignorance that attempts to betray me. And let me repeat these steps each day. I give you all the glory. I love you, Father. Amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you're a blessing to others. I love you all. Go out there and make today an awesome day. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all. Hi family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope 
you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.